the Course in Miracles is a channeled material that talks about forgiveness. And I'm wondering, does that does that process go deep enough that they use? Um, the Course in Miracles were, was channeled material from a second sphere spirit who is now on the Divine Love Path. So the second sphere spirit, when they channeled the material of the Course in Miracles, they were not on the Divine Love Path, they were on the Natural Love Path. They, they came from a Christian point of view when they were on Earth, and then they modified those viewpoints based on their experiences in the first and second sphere in the spirit world. And then, because of their interest in helping people on Earth, they channeled the material through, <coughs> through the, the human channelers. The human channelers, too, had some filters, emotional filters, regarding the material as well. And so it worked perfectly, if you like, to channel exactly what the Course in Miracles finished up being. The Course in Miracles doesn't address a lot of issues emotionally. It addresses many of them from an intellectual perspective because of the background of the spirit giving the material. And, and now that spirit is on the divine love path, the spirit is aware of what it would like to do to change all of those things. But the people who channel the original material are not in the condition where they can accept the changes that the spirit would like to make. So there are truths in the Course in Miracles, just like there are truths in all other channel material. And, and certainly there's no need to avoid any channel material. You'll soon see when you're connected with God what's truth and what isn't. But you'll find in the Course of, Miku, in the course of uh, Miracles that a lot of it is conundrum upon conundrum. Um, and the reason why is because a lot of times there was confusion, emotional confusion in the spirit while the material was being channeled. And that's why a lot of it sort of has, it has smatterings of beauty. And in the other, on the other side, it has smatterings of like, almost like a drug-induced rant, ranting. Um, and you will be able to see the difference as you actually read the course through the entire process. Anything that complicates your progression towards God is obviously just going to make your progression towards God longer. And the course in Miriam, like, the truth is that there are just two things that you need to do to progress towards God. Have a longing for God's love and truth and feel your emotions. All of them, every single moment, of every single day. But don't, don't do the book clubs anymore, just kind of throw them out. Well, you can do as many book clubs as you want. You've got free will to say. Well, what you're saying, answer. though, is that the built-in equipment that we have is really adequate. To exactly. Do what we have to do. Why, like, don't you think God would have provided you with everything you need to connect to her? Yeah. Why do you think you need anything else? Like, everything you need to connect to God has already been given you, inside of you. Why would you need to go and buy a book to help you do it? Now, sure, these books are handy and they can help you connect with your emotions and everything else, but in the end, God's already given you absolutely everything you need inside of yourself to connect to her.